Check it out, Jocelyn. Potato problems. The most popular vegetable in the United States is a blood sugar spiking starts, a nightshade vegetable, and a commonly genetically modified food. Okay, so they talked about potatoes. You know, uh, uh, it's a vegetable, but it could also kill you. So <laughs> a few studies have implicated potatoes in weight gain. This is important. Potatoes, there's a lot of different kinds. Uh, russet baked potatoes are good sources of potassium, vitamin C, B6, folate, nice, and iron manganese, but they rank highly on the glycemic index, meaning their carbs are broken down into sugar, causing you to feel fucking great. Oh, no, sorry, Ca <laughs> causing you to spike your blood sugar. And uh, red potatoes, on the other hand, contain fewer calories and carbs and more niacin. So just FYI, red potatoes, the way to go to keep your blood sugar from spiking. Potatoes make you gain weight. Potatoes are a nightshade. Um, uh, these, okay, so this is why this is important. A nightshades uh, contain toxic substances like glycoalkaloids that increase intestinal permeability or what they call leaky gut, which sounds- Ugh. Cool. I know. So I gross. I've lived my whole life and not known what that was, Juliana. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. A leaky gut is believed to set off an autoimmune reaction when various proteins, which should stay inside your digestive tract, make their way into your bloodstream and the body attacks in response. In one study, this is important as we get to GMOs, so just setting the stage here. In one study from Digestive Diseases and Sciences, researchers fed potato skins where there are high concentrations of that um, uh, glycoalkaloids uh, to mice with inflammatory bowel disease and found that gut inflammation was very much increased. Uh, anyway, there's no, almost no published evidence on potatoes causing joint pain and inflammation in healthy individuals, but there are numerous anecdotal accounts. For example, this one guy, Marx is an author of Primal Blueprint and blogger at MarxDailyApple.com, found that eating potatoes on a regular basis led to joint pain in his feet and ankles. That doesn't happen when he eats other starchy foods. Now check this out. This is where I got super passive. <laughs> potatoes are biting. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. DeCrypto. No, no, I am about, no, maybe. I'm not going to ruin potatoes because you can eat um, apparently organic potatoes, non-GMO potatoes, okay? But listen to what they're doing, these fuckers. Excuse my French. Since the introduction of GMO versions of potato in 2015, the potato has become the most common GMO, genetically modified organism, available in the U.S., so much so that they were recently added to the high-risk list of non-GMO project standard. Okay. Unlike many GMO vegetables, the GMO potato is not designed to produce its own pesticide or resist herbicides, which is sort of the argument they give for everyone else. Oh, we can make more food, right? If the bugs wouldn't eat it and the weeds wouldn't grow. Instead, the GMO potato developed by J.R. Simplot is engineered so that its flesh stays white when it's exposed to air or light, like Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> or even when it's bruised or diseased. Get that? The trait prevents the potato's natural discoloration uh, was achieved by silencing its melanin gene. Uh, sort of like what happened to Michael Jackson. Okay, the potato still gets damaged, but the symptoms are hidden from view and from the consumer. So basically, a potato does not show that it is uh, rotten when you buy it at the store and you can eat it. And because it is a nightshade, it will fucking poison you. Okay, GMO potato developer Ramen's now heavily, what is this, all this, this the whole thing is, my computer's blowing up here. Um, check it. The, potato, the guy who developed the GMO potato is now heavily criticizing the crop he created, saying the newfangled potatoes are not really bruise resistant, but bruise concealing. In his book, he explains concealed bruises can accumulate certain toxins that can compromise food safety and nutritional quality, but you wouldn't know it. For example, the abnormal amino acid tyramine can accumulate in these damaged potato tissues that you wouldn't know are damaged because they're not showing the damage anymore thank you to genetically modification some people have poor ability to break down or are sensitive to tyramine 
and um, it may lead to a dangerous rise in blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, quickened heart rate, severe headache, etc. So it's possible that an unsuspecting consumer who is sensitive to this could eat a bruise concealing GMO potato and, uh, you know, end up in the emergency room. I thought I would warn you. Exactly, Carpe Pax. It is designed to lie about its freshness. Not just freshness, but its toxins. You know, you're not supposed to eat the green skin on potatoes. No, potatoes. no. Okay, so this says, uh, anyway, he's calling this the worst GMO ever commercialized. There is no reason other than selling you something poisoned that you wouldn't otherwise buy than to ha have GMO potatoes. It doesn't keep the pests off. It doesn't keep them growing faster. It does nothing but fool the consumer into buying and eating something toxic, which should be fucking illegal. Anyway, uh, bottom line advice, it's important to weigh the information and decide for you if potatoes are right for your diet. It says look for potatoes that are labeled non-GMO project verified or USDA organic. Um, seeking organic potato products is the best way to avoid both GMO potatoes and potatoes that aren't sprayed with chemicals. If you're overweight or have high blood glucose levels, you may want to avoid potatoes. Also, if you're an addict, you might want to, uh, like a, you know, like a alcohol addict, you might want to avoid potatoes because it spikes, spikes the same thing that causes cravings for alcohol. Uh, if you have a known autoimmune disease, you know, you may not want to eat potatoes and it's better to, and then they give you a lot of potato substitute substitutes. Turnips, mashed, pot roasted turnips can go in place of roasted potatoes. You can put parsnips in your stew if you need something potato-esque, but without the blood spiking stuff. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. And I thought I should warn you uh, about what they're doing to our food supply uh, so you can take personal action as opposed to maybe we should also take political action. But who's going to like go up against Big Potato, you know, the Big Potato lobby? So I didn't know I had, Juliana. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was Thank like so ruining everything I love today. I just want you to appreciate that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I love potatoes. I know. I love potatoes too. And I'm going to continue eating them in moderation. But I'm <laughs> going to try to buy the non-GMO ones. Yes. I just think they should, they're getting away with literal murder. Like a spike in blood pressure can cause a stroke in sensitive <laughs> individuals and even non-sensitive individuals. Crazy. Oh my God. Now I'm hungry though. I just read all that about potatoes and now I'm starving and it's time for cake. Speaking of blood sugar spikes. Hey, uh, aren't, aren't you going to have your birthday cake on the air? I was going to, but I yesterday I took it out cake. and that I left it on the counter and my, I bought a um, little single serve little cheesecake and I took it out and I left it on the counter. Um, and my cat ate half of it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I should have taken a picture. But uh, anyway, Kitty had the cake. So, and then she threw up. So she didn't even get to really enjoy the cake. Is it weird that all this talk of potatoes made me want a jacket potato? No. No. The American does not take potatoes. No, I want one too. And go ahead and eat one. Just make sure it's non-GMO verified. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. What won't they think of next? 